Greetings and salutations, YouTubers and malefactors. We're back here at Stop Logic Motorsports and we're doing a little more surgery to the bike. Uh, as you see, this is the illustrious clutch safety switch, which is broke. So, uh, we're going to uh, make this bike dramatically less safe. So pretty much, what we're doing here is we're basically wiring these together and bypassing the wire. And what will happen <clears throat> if you have the uh, safety switch broken is if you stall the bike on a hill or whatnot, you'll wind up not being able to restart it when in gear. It will just sit there and register that the uh, bike's not able to be moved. Which can be a bit of a bit of a safety hazard when you're out riding if you can't restart stuck on a hill. So we're going to go ahead and strip these two wires. And before I do that, I have to do the obligatory Stop Logic Motorsports is not responsible for any damages, loss of life, limb, or anything by bypassing basic safety features on your bike. Please consult your owner's manual for all recommended services and pretty much anything else, yada yada. And pretty much, sweetie. I have the missus over there doing a uh, doing some crochet, just making a blanket, I believe. But yeah, if you find yourself on a trail, you've got a stick up through here, it's broke, or you're hauling the bike and the uh, tie down damaged it. Well, this is how you basically do the fix on it. You can do the same to your kickstand switch without much muss and fuss. Pretty much, you take your two wires, you twist them together, and since I can't seem to find my uh, soldering iron, I'm going to do this a little bit old fashioned. -y. I'm going to do it with a lighter and some flux. Full disclosure, that's a lot easier with the soldering iron. So, like we did the hose assembly for blocking off the, uh, oh, blocking off the vent for the flapper, we're gonna grab some more of this uh, shrink tube. And we're gonna shrink it ink down on this. I'm gonna trim it up a little bit because we're not gonna need all of this excess. So what's, what did we learn last time? Shrink it down. Let it cool a little bit. Actually, we're going to go the next size up on the shrink tube. You fold it over itself so it makes a nice little watertight connection. You slide the shrink tube down. So it's pretty much at the end of the uh, end of the other shrink tubing and made it together and seal it down.
and boom. Nice little watertight wire. And in this case, you can just zip tie it off on any other adjacent cable. I'll probably just go ahead and zip tie it to the clutch cable when I get around to it. When I get around to finding my zip ties. And that is bypassing the clutch safety switch. So now the bike will start in gear regardless. Make sure though, if you have hidden gear and you hit the uh, start button, you've got the clutch in because you'll go for a little bit of a ride otherwise. Well, hopefully you found this useful. If you like the content, like and subscribe. If you don't, feel free to uh, vigorously excoriate me in the comments and have a good one.